Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You probably don't even recognize me because it's been so long since I've posted a video and for that I am so so sorry. I know I told you that I was going to be taking some time off from work and then one thing led to another and I've just been so exhausted and I wasn't expecting it to take this much out of me having a full-time job. Props to you people who are doing YouTube and a full-time job at the same time. You are my heroes. Honestly, you are my heroes. I really want to get better at it. So this is me putting a video out here for you. I also ended up having some weird skin reaction to a product that I was going to test out for you guys as well. So that kind of put a damper on things and set some stuff back. So it was this Clinique moisturizer. I really was having some dry skin so I was like oh maybe I'll test out this new moisturizer and then do a recommendation review type of thing for you guys. It ended up making my skin break out the worst it has ever broken out probably since the beginning of high school not good just not good so I don't know if it was something in there if it's a comedogenic product I don't know what's in there but I've used other Clinique products none of them have had issues on me long story even longer just didn't like it it was one of the reasons why it ended up taking a little bit longer to get back to you but now here I am and it is Boxy Charm month. So I got another Boxy Charm. Last month I did not do a Boxy Charm opening. I'm so sorry, but I really wanted to do this month. I didn't want to miss two months in a row. I enjoyed last month's Boxy Charm, but I knew that if I did not do the two videos in a row, then I would just not be okay with myself because these are one of my favorite videos to film for you. So Without further ado, if you want to see how I got this face of makeup, then let's just open up this box. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to open from our box, let's see what we have here. As always, we have our little card, and the topic today is Make Waves. And I am number one. All right, ooh, this is cool. So right away, I see this. Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. Let's see what it says. All right, Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Cleanser. Gentle, but make it bubbly. This daily conditioning gel cleanser gently but effectively cleanses skin and dissolves makeup. Oat amino acids condition while vegan formula. So this is vegan, nice. With apple extract, vitamin E, and green tea extract, bubbles up to deep clean and remove impurities. Soap fragrance and SLS, SLES free, all skin types approved. And this sells for $28. I really love the package of this. It looks like an oil slick, that's so cool. I wanna see what the actual product looks like. They have the cool packaging still. Can't really see with my light, but it's just a giant tube. There is five ounces in here, so you get a decent size. Excited to try that out. I will leave a response below if it has any type of negative effects on my skin. That is one of the reasons why, like I said, I haven't been posting as frequently. I did have a negative effect with Clinique Moisturizer. Moving on, second thing I see is Eye Luster Creamy Eyeshadow by Ciate London. This sells for $22 and the metallic glittering liquid eyeshadow can be swiped on for full coverage, blended in for sheer sparkle, or applied over any eyeshadow as a topper. So this is what the box looks like. Very cute. I actually don't have any Ciate London products, so this is nice. Whoa. Okay, I'm digging it. I'm moving closer. I wanna do a swatch real quick. Nice. Nice. Ooh, I like that. It's got purple, pink, and gold reflex to it. Very iridescent, very shiny. We'll see how that dries down, how long it takes to dry down 
on my hand, but I'm going to put that to the side for right now. Next up we have the Dose of Colors. This looks like one of their lipsticks, yep, liquid matte lipstick, bittersweet. I've actually always wanted to try this, like I have mentioned on my channel before. I used to work at Ulta, and the Ulta that I worked at, Dose of Colors, was very heavily purchased, and I always wanted to purchase it, but just never got around to it. So, very excited about this. Oh wow, this is a very pretty red color. A ready orange. Let me just do a swatch. Nice. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous red shade. Very vibrant. I'm going to see how long that one takes to dry down as well. But that is very full pigment. Like, gorgeous. I really like that. Alright, so Dish Touch the Ciate one. Got onto my other finger. Definitely still wet. Ooh, what are you? Bodyography Midnight Blue Eye Pencil. Oh, it's like they know me. If you have seen the how I did my makeup in high school video, I used to love putting blue eyeliner in my uh, waterline. It was my top thing to do in high school, so this is going to definitely take me back. That's what they have given me, a midnight blue eyeliner. It's just a pencil. But, ooh, and I think I forgot to say, the Dose of Color sells for $18. And this eye pencil from Bodyography sells for $14. It's a lot for an eye pencil, but maybe it's going to be very, very smooth and pigmented. It does say it's infused with coconut and oil and vitamin E, so that could help out the eyeballs. Last but not least, this is what we got. And it's the Alomar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. It's very adorable. I love this blue. Oh wow. So we have Castaway and then we have Paraiso. P A R A I S O. Do not know how to say that, but. And then we have Scorcher. I love that it also comes with a mirror for a palette that's little like this. I think that's gorgeous. And I also love that they included an orange shade because, well, actually two orange shades really because I love orange blush shades, so I like that they gave you some options here. And that sells for $22. So that is everything that I received in my box. Let me just double check. Yep, that is everything that I got in this month's BoxyCharm. Now let's try to make the full face. And just checking on this, this is completely dry for the Ciate London. Nothing coming off on that, and then the Lipstick, still a little bit wet if I rub it pretty hard, as you can see it transfers. But I mean, I had to rub pretty rough <laughs> in order to do that, so I think if I waited a little bit longer that it would stay. But liking them, liking them. So I've just gone ahead and zoomed you in because now we are going to do the portion where I put this on my face. Now we don't have much to work with, so I went ahead and picked up my Pure Festival palette. I received this in my last month's Boxy Charm. I didn't do a video on that because I was taking my hiatus, but I love the colors that are in here and I think that they'll really work well with some of the new items that I got. So we are gonna do that. Real quick though, I am going to fill in my eyebrows, put on a little bit of bronzer, but for you, it will be this fast. Okay, so now that I have that done, I think what I'm going to do is test out my blush trio. And like I said, I'm going to use one of these orange shades. So, I think I'm gonna go into Scorcher, take a little bit on my brush. Oh my, it's very pigmented. I'm scared, I'm scared. I do like blush, so I'm happy about it, but I don't want it to be too much. It's not quite as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be, but I do like the color. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I don't have a highlighter with me, so I think I'm just gonna take 
free spirit from in here and use that as my highlighter because why not? Oh, this works well as a highlighter. It's very glittery, but it works very well. Now I'm going to do a quick eye from the colors that are in here. Nothing too special. I think I'll probably just take a little bit of the epic shade all over my eye as a transition and then hidden desert just in the corner because I don't want to do anything too crazy. I want the Ciate London to be the star of the show. So that's what I'm going to do right now. These eyeshadows also smell really good. I've been using them for a couple of days now. First time I've used pure eyeshadows, so... So my quick eye is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the Ciate. I don't really know the best way to apply this. I think I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and then tap it in with my finger just because I don't want to get a lot of globs in my eye. Let's go and see how this works. looking too much. Let me see if I swipe it on. Oh, that's much better. You gotta swipe it on. You can't dab. Gotta swipe. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Wow. Found my new going out eyeshadow. So plate doesn't get in my eyes. <laughs> Time for the blue eyeliner. I'm gonna just line my waterline with this and then probably on the underneath. I liked it with, better without the blue eyeliner, but that is what they gave me, so. It's not the most creamy thing in the whole world. It's pretty sharp. I don't know. I've used better. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Alright, so lashes are on and these are the magnetic lashes that I wore from the Easter video that I did when I was testing out the magnetic eyeliner. I am obsessed with that stuff. They make putting on eyelashes so easy. So I figured if I'm going to use a red lipstick then I have to wear eyelashes. So here goes nothing. Last product to try. I am too lazy to use lip liner, so very sorry for everyone who is cringing right now. But, ooh. Wow, that is creamy. Wow. Uh, I'm obsessed with this lipstick. <laughs> it is so, so easy to apply. This red is now my favorite shade of red I have ever worn, ever. It's awesome. Honestly, it's awesome. This little section is driving me crazy because it dried down. We're gonna ignore it. We're gonna talk like this from now on so that we can't see that side of my lip. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm really sorry once again for taking such a long hiatus. Hopefully from now on I'll be able to film more frequently. I still can't promise anything. I'm so sorry because my schedule is just so crazy with work. I get just so tired and then all of a sudden next thing I know the week has gone by and no video. 
but I really want to be here for you guys. I don't want to just have this bland YouTube channel that doesn't have any new videos. So I really hope you enjoyed this. I always love posting these boxy charm videos and then trying on what I can for you. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I love you guys.